Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here, and uh, today I'm bringing you some more Tribes Ascent, because on the last video, uh, it seemed like the overwhelming majority of you seemed to enjoy uh, Tribes gameplay, so I am very happy to bring you some more of it. And uh, this gameplay here is on Katabatic, the ice map. And so I'm playing the Pathfinder class here, which I think has quickly become my favorite class in the game. Uh, for the past couple days, that's, that's almost all I've been playing. And at first I really liked the Soldier class, and the Pathfinder is sort of like a light version of the Soldier. Um, and I think the reason I've, I've gravitated to the Pathfinder more is because you can just get up to some ludicrous speeds with the light class. As you see here, I'm going about 200 kilometers an hour. That's just not possible with the medium and heavy loadouts most of the time. And so, under most circumstances, I think the light classes are your best bet for trying to capture flags. Um, and I like the Pathfinder class especially because you have two ways to kind of self-propel yourself. Uh, you have concussion grenades, and you also have your spin fuser, which you see in my hand now. So a few times throughout this gameplay, like right here, you'll see me use the spin fuser to propel myself across the map and get a quick burst of speed. And a lot of people don't realize you can do this, or just don't bother to, um, but it's an important tactic for trying to get up to speed and pick up an enemy flag, or when chasing down an enemy flag carrier. Uh, this tactic is invaluable uh, to get yourself up to speed or to make yourself quicker, and so that actually brings me into what I'm going to talk about in this commentary. So, a few of you had requested that I do a skiing guide for tribes, and I thought this might not be a bad idea, because uh, the skiing mechanic is something very different uh, from a lot of other games, and it's something that's pretty unique to tribes. Um, and so because of that, a lot of people have had trouble understanding kind of how it works or how to get proficient using the skiing mechanic to get across the map and, you know, accomplish the objectives of the game. So I don't claim to be the world's best skier, okay, but I'm pretty decent at it, and so I thought I would try to share with you guys uh, my approach to skiing and how I think you can practice at it and get better. Um, so this gameplay I thought was a good example of some of the stuff I want to talk about. And you just saw right there, the thing we had already talked about uh, a little bit before was self-propulsion. And so whether it's a disc launcher or a grenade or a bolt launcher or really any explosive that you have, you can use to self-propel yourself and gain a boost of speed. And this is going to be key for a lot of different things. The, the main one being chasing enemy flag carriers like you see me doing now. Uh, in fact, self-propulsion is probably the only way that you're going to catch a skilled player running a light loadout. And actually the only reason I end up catching this guy is because he stops and decides to try and regen health on the edge of the map, which was kind of stupid of him. But like I said, the only chance you have at catching a really skilled player is to give yourself a boost with your own weapons. Now you might be saying, that's great and all, Brandon, but after I propel myself and I've got some good speed, how do I keep that speed going, you know, as I fly around the map? And the easiest way I can think of to explain my philosophy for skiing is if you've ever played the iPhone game Tiny Wings, that's kind of what it's like. And what I mean by that is when you're in the air, you always want to be aiming to land on a smooth downhill surface. Then, as you're skiing along, you want to use your jetpack to propel yourself up hills. And as you crest over the hill, you repeat that. You land on a smooth downhill surface, jetpack on the uphill grades, and that's how you'll continue to gain speed as you fly around the map. And from there, it's really just about practice, because um, mastering the technique of skiing on each different map really just requires deep map knowledge. So when you're playing, just make an effort to focus on the stuff that we've talked about. The self-propulsion, energy conservation, making sure you're hitting the hills at the right spots. And over time, I guarantee that you'll see yourself improve. Now make sure you watch this last clip here, because you'll see that once you get proficient with skiing, you can get around the map really fast. I'm able to return our flag, pick up their flag, and capture it, all within the span of a minute. 
Now, one last thing I wanted to mention is that if you happen to miss this week's episode of the KB Mod podcast, you should definitely check it out. Uh, we had an awesome interview with Bart Konigsberg, who is the competitive and esports guru over at High Res Studios. And so we talked a lot of tribes with him. Um, the guy is very passionate about the game, so you should definitely take a listen. I'll include a link in the description below. Uh, let's see, this gameplay is just about finished. Um, like I said, this last cap is pretty quick. Uh, we ended up winning this match, but some of these maps can go 20 or 25 minutes, and I figured I would cut some footage out and just give you the most exciting parts. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave the video a like, and also leave me a comment let me know if you have any skiing tips of your own. Or if you have any ideas for other tips style videos that you want me to do, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to do more of these kinds of things. If you enjoy this type of content, you can subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter. Link is below in the details section. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.